Hello, 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 folks. We are back again for uh, you know our fifth day uh, running. Right. Welcome to Stoa Daily Live. Um, today we will be focusing on uh, the quick commerce market. Right. Something that has pretty much taken uh, the, con- the life of consumers, uh, especially my life personally. We will discuss about that in more detail. with quite a storm right and in uh, this market one startup pretty much stands out for creating the category of 10 minute deliveries right i'd like to specify uh, and stress on the number 10 minute delivery because uh, that's something that i think aditya has dug, done some digging up and found interesting things um, around right um but yeah before we get started and uh, you know look into the details of uh, this whole uh, quick e-commerce and 10 minute delivery space let us take a moment to appreciate the fact that zepto as a company is just 2 years old it was started in 2021 right it's not even 2 years like if you if you think about 2020 2021 uh, post the pandemic um and it's a company that is started by 19 year olds right which currently has a valuation of 900 million as of the yeah. last known uh, you know private rounds that they did so aditya what were you doing when you were uh, 19 right and the folks in the chat like how old are y'all what were you doing when y'all were uh, 19 right let us know about that as well aditya but you know starting <laughs> off with you Oh, 19. This must be second year of college. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was get, I was busy getting my heart broken. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's what I was doing. But yeah, jokes aside, I think I was back in Pilani. Yeah, and basically doing nothing. Zero attendance policy at Bits, and uh, yeah, I was just chilling with my friends at uh, Skylons. Uh, I mean, bits go off folks wouldn't know it, but bits pilani folks would know. <laughs> so just chilling at Skylons, yeah. Yeah, and here we have like while you are getting your heart busy broken, here we have 19-year-olds, आजकल के लॉन्डे who are going and uh, really turning on the heat on rather established uh, startups in the last mile uh, logistics delivery uh, space, right? Like, um. I first used Zepto like I, I since I'm based out of Goa right like I heard a lot about you know Zepto like blowing up on uh, Twitter I have friends who knew the founders and so on and that was my reason for knowing Zepto but I think I tried Zepto really in the thick of um, the hype when I was making a trip to Bangalore right chalo try karke dekhte hai ye 10 minute mein uh, kaise ghar aa jata hai before that another interesting fact right like i'm a big time swiggy uh, swiggy loyalist and uh, especially when zomato you know pro plus membership gets over uh, <laughs> swiggy instamart in fact has a really really crazy uh, network right swiggy has widely penetrated uh, this market wherever i think they almost wherever they have a presence in terms of the food delivery uh, business Uh, they have kicked in instamart as well so i live in a village here in goa and i get my groceries delivered through swiggy instamart like I, in fact they actually don't deliver you know to my address if i if i go on my uh, you know phone kind uh, you know swiggy app and i check for instamart it doesn't show up so what i do is actually put my address as a a, a town that is closer to the store and while checking out of instamart i then change my delivery address and get it delivered to my home so product managers if there any product managers here from swiggy tune into this like uh, thank you for not uh, you know like paying attention i guess to uh, quality control or whatever but like please do not take away my grocery deliveries i pretty much survive uh, on on swiggy instamart like in a rather illegible in legitimate way uh, but when i first ordered zepto in fact like when i was in bangalore uh, i found there was a lot of difference between the ui uh, you know the this the sort of finesse and the polish of the app given that they were category leaders especially right but yeah i got the delivery in about 12 minutes or so uh, not bad at all 
right? Like, how was your? I mean, have you ordered from Zepto? Do you get it in Nasik? Is it in Bangalore that you tried it out? Like, people in the chat, like, have no, you... no. So when when I'm in Bangalore, I mean, Zepto is my uh, go-to thing, right? And uh, I mean, pretty crazy, man. Like, I think the fastest they have delivered to me was like six minutes or something like that. and uh, i mean the with today challenge i actually went on a, a detective uh, sort of mission right because since the time they abolished that 10 minute promise the my experience has been like they deliver 10 minutes after the promise time so if they say 23 minutes they now deliver at 33 minutes but there was a time when they would deliver in like 6 7 minutes and it's very interesting that why is that happening why do you think that is happening folks in the chat like uh, if they were delivering it earlier now they're not uh, to the same location what do you think is happening is it additional customers that are really you know dragging down uh, the uh, you know um, the delivery times just because of the demand uh, why are they unable to set up more stores the real estate cost that is driving them crazy in uh cities lot to lot to unpack here but want to definitely know your opinion i have an answer for that but we will come uh, to that answer in a bit all right yeah. all right all right so what is it that you dug up uh today yeah so i was trying to basically say uh, you know try to find out when did this 10 minute delivery promise die right because that was the hottest thing last year the vc money was coming in swiggy started in staman danzo pivoted to being a danzo daily zepto came in blinkit was there and like you know zomato invested in blinkit uh, which was earlier grofers grofers sort of rebranded themselves to blinkit and i have a very interesting uh, what do you say fact here and that comes from zepto's website so i went on a trip on web archive to check how did zepto's website change over time right how did zepto's website actually change over time and i'm going to quickly share my screen raj yes can you see my screen yep so for those folks who don't know there is this something called as internet archive wayback machine where you can go back and check the landing page of every website uh, and how it has evolved so this is zepto's first landing page on november 3 which was screenshotted which and is this is 2021 this is okay. november 3 21 so you can see the uh, date right here at the top in corner it says it simply said groceries delivered in 10 minutes download our app these are all the cities we are in or it said coming soon to pune kolkata blah 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 and how it works order choose from and look at this word and this is the word that is very interesting don't blink right so where do you think grofers got their idea for the <laughs> rebrand or uh, the agency that grofers hired <laughs> apparently the rebrand was pulled off in a matter of 10 days which i think is like insanity yeah. uh, right like so i think somebody looked at zepto's website for 10 days and said like what word clicks here it's blink so blink it <laughs> anyway so this this was their website and gurvinder and akshat and ragini and aishwarya and ankit these are their testimonials from 2021 now what is very interesting to me is that web page has not changed at all for the most uh, part right like so they came to all these cities it was still the same web page these are the mm-hmm. same testimonials that are there on the website of course it is a app first company i understand that but i was very curious how their landing page changed and the landing page was almost same i think until july 1 2022 it said groceries delivered in 10 minutes same cities place and order this is the only change by the way and i am curious why would somebody make so i mean landing page was order and then somebody right like i think somebody wanted to define their job so it work. became uh, yeah, they are working so it became place and order that is the only change it is the same testimonial same web page and then something interesting happened on 15th of july where the 10 minute thing died so this is the you know death this is the death of 10 minute delivery on 15th july 2022 folks right? in the chat rip 10 minute delivery right that's what what uh, we want to hear rip 10 minute delivery <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was just fun while it lasted definitely yeah so the testimonial still did not change you know uh, oh did they change i haven't actually looked at if the text has actually change let's look at it very quickly oh no i think 
Yeah, 10 minute delivery is just insane. Let's see what Akshat is saying now. Oh, Akshat is still saying 10 minute delivery is just insane. Okay, so something changed on 15th of July. And then I'm sure something happened again. And it was back with 10 minutes with terms and conditions applied on it. Right. And this was back on September 22nd. So uh, this was my little detective mission to see, you know, how thing has uh, actually evolved. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's some. I think uh, that that begs a question that right? Ashwin here makes a point. Ki, you know, he doesn't even think that ten minute delivery was a big enough problem to solve in the first place, unless it you know looked that way from a habit creation point of view, uh, more like a solution searching for a problem. Um, what do you think about this? I have my I have my thoughts here as a marketer, right? Like, but what I want to know before I dive into that, ki, what do you think about this? And folks in the chat also, right? Do you think this is a legit problem? Uh, what is going on? What is going on uh, here? Is it a legit problem or not? I don't think it was about consumer problem at all, right? Like it was about grabbing the attention because uh, when you are already entering a red ocean, a very competitive space, you need to come up with a value prop or you need to come up with certain messaging that breaks people's existing mental model, right? For the longest amount of time, the mental model was 30 minutes, right? And Zepto came in with 10 minutes and sort of broke that mental model that is how they were able to penetrate the market right like i mean we associate zepto with 10 minutes so that was a very smart positioning to take certain parameter and like you know uh like you know get the brand recognition improve the brand recall win the market share and uh, all of those things what was very interesting to me is then dunzo went ahead and said we will deliver in 19 minutes now, 19 minutes is a pretty random number to, uh, uh, you know, in fact, I think we had a class from somebody who was at Dunzo and they explained why they chose 19 minutes. What was the rationale behind choosing that uh, prime number, right? like an odd prime number. Uh, so that 10 minute thing, I think it was a marketing thing more than like, you know, am I really solving for the customer problem? Right? So, so, So this is like. Uh, you know, would you find 100% placements more believable or would you find 89% placements more believable, right? Like uh, sometimes when things are too good to be true, would you really believe them or would you believe something that is slightly imperfect? Like a 19 minutes in that case is like, uh, uh, you know, something that is not so uh, perfect. So I think I completely agree. It was, uh, you know, one of those things wherein you do something to grab attention. You actually deliver on that promise. Like, I think uh, Zepto has, as you said, right? That, as you that was said, magical, right? Like building that kind of operational engine, which could deliver the order in like seven, eight minutes. Because I know where the Zepto dark store near my uh, place is. And there is a signal in between, which is, you know, it takes a lot. It's a, you know, uh, quite a crowded uh, sort of signal and despite that Zepto was consistently delivering the orders right within 10 minutes I mean what is this IIT Kanpur left the chat is it like a comment on uh, the placements I don't know like let us know <laughs> but uh, yeah Omkar says it doesn't matter much but if Zepto takes 15 and Blinkit takes 25 I prefer Zepto so it does matter I guess right like Omkar is this is a typical consumer right who's pretty confused with regards to like what brands say, what they actually end up doing and whatnot. Uh, but I think an uh, over long, long enough period of time under promise over deliver is always like a, a decent, uh, but by the way, I mean, that is why like, you know, <laughs> I mean, if I were to write a review for Zepto now, despite them delivering on like, you know, hundreds of orders within 10 minutes, the last few orders have been, as I actually said, they have been delivered 10 minutes after the promise time, right? Like, so that 10 minute promise has now become, if I promise you 23 minutes, I'm going to deliver in 33 minutes, uh, <laughs> which is, I mean, I still love the brand and I still respect uh, what they do, but it doesn't feel right. And perhaps that is what matters at the end of the day that you're still buying from them, right? Like, I think all yeah, said and done, you might be whatever uh, disappointed at their marketing messaging and so on, but it's still buying from them. So I think got to give it to them, right? Let's yeah. in fact take a moment, uh, right? And look at what, like, I mean, we've all heard of these dark stores, dark stores, whatnot, right? Like you might imagine that these are actually stores which are dark, but like that's not the, that's not the case, right? So let's take a look at what 
these stores actually look like on the inside and how do how, how do they make it happen right how do they ensure ki delivery 10 minute ke andar or 15 20 whatever you may call it how does it uh, happen i have only seen a store from the outside like with delivery boys like really lined up right trying to whatever get their order but uh, here's here's a video in fact uh, which that promises that answers the why of the 10 minute delivery model but if you're wondering how it is done let me give you two words dark stores zepto has set up over 40 dark stores which are micro warehouses and much like ghost kitchens caters only to online deliveries i'm here at one of zepto's dark stores in delhi's south extension area to understand its concept and the application behind the startup's build so this pretty much looks like some you know a uh, supermarket in a in a way it looks like the insides of a pretty regular supermarket right to quick commerce Zepto's grocery delivery app gives customers the option to choose from a wide range of products. They have a variety of fresh farm vegetables and fruits, groceries, dairy products and much That's more. That's not Zepto dark store. Once the order has been placed, the app starts a stopwatch with a timer that shows how long will it take for the products to get delivered. Meanwhile, a notification gets sent to Zepto's dark store and the rider partner simultaneously. Upon receiving the order notification, the packer rushes to the aisle and starts sorting the products and packing it for the rider to collect. The packed order is placed on a color-coded rack. The rider identifies its order, collects it and goes on to deliver the items to the customer. The startup's median delivery time is 8 to 9 minutes. Dark stores are not a new concept and such stores are very common in the US, Russia and other larger economies. But the challenge with such operations in India is heavy traffic and congested roads. So what is the strategy Zepto is deploying in planning and locating these dark stores to ensure quick delivery to its customers? The reality is that the core of our business is about keeping short distances for a delivery. So the way that we position our delivery centers uh so that it's actually within a very short distance from where customers are located so the average distance today of a zepto delivery is about 1.7 to 1.8 kilometers which is very very low and the beauty is that if you need to do 1.7 1.8 kilometers of distance on a motorbike in 10 minutes you have to travel 11 12 kilometers per hour right i mean at at max with a uh you know even taking into account the time it takes for packing it's less than 15 kilometers per hour compared to the average speed of a you know biker on the road today which is 20 to 25 kilometers per hour how is zepto managing the variety that comes with the volume of deliveries in any city in india so what we've seen ashwarya is that about 90 95% of a customer's basket gets covered in you know 1500 sku's or so even if i give you 20000 you know products to choose from on grocery you'll still buy you'll still buy amul butter so we're able to keep most of you know the customer's basket in you know one consolidated center and with that we're able to improve our sls by 100x so we experimented with you know 2000 SKUs, 2500 SKUs, 3300 SKUs. Right now we're at 3300, and so because we're building a business significantly more efficiently than I think anybody in this space by far, frankly. So, all right, let me pause this. Uh, pause this there, right? Like a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting innovations. Uh, we've got some interesting comments also in the chat that I think uh, would be, you know, uh, interesting to look at. Like the North Star metric, NSM is North Star metric. Just to deliver. 100% orders within 10 minutes and they wanted to optimize the time from order placement to delivery of course and everything in between so i mean of course right without ha- I, i think this this has a not star metric the interesting part about this is that it forces the entire team the organization to really you know put all their force like and reconfigure their dna to make it happen right like if you say 20 minutes bhi chalta hai so then of course like a team will deliver it in 25 minutes right like you know in a way so i think as a you know as as a mission this really really makes sense another comment around the you know how, the the business model around these dark stores is um how i don't know how accurate this is but people setting up dark stores actually do this on a franchisee based model and they they pay 50 to 60 lakhs 
and earn some percentage per order like you know a good uh, old retailer so i mean i don't know if this is 50 to 60 lakhs in terms of capex that is capital expenditure in setting up the store or a franchisee a uh, fee. fee i think it probably be the former because i don't really know what the return on investment uh would be for such uh such a show right like and this is apparently for uh, growers interesting 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 so i think raj your answer to that right like uh, what a change i think the north star metric for these product managers mm-hmm. at <laughs> zepto had changed right like if it was 10 minutes earlier i think now it is something to do with revenue per store right mm-hmm. and that is why the 10 minute delivery i mean you can only optimize for one thing mm-hmm. and i think that radius must have gone up that 1.7 km must have gone up and my guess is now they are optimizing for revenue per dark store rather than the delivery time so all right let's get to the crux of you know what we want to like discuss today what not how do you think one can increase you know the market share like it's a highly as we agree it's a rather commoditized space i've i've got apps each of them have like of course everyone has maggi noodles like as you said ki as long as you're stocking A thousand five hundred SKUs. You pretty much cover like the entirety of the you know order. So I'm sure everyone has discovered that by now. Every uh, different player has discovered that by now. Be it Grofers, uh, whatever Blinkit actually, uh, Instamart, BB Daily, Dunzo Daily, uh, Zepto, uh, or कोई बचा है like all of these. O- Ola Dash तो I think shut down, right? Like uh, all of these put together. they pretty much do the same thing right so what do you think uh, is market share a function of and like if you were in their shoes how do you sort of think through this uh, problem how do you break it down into you know as you call it me see yeah. yeah no i think things see once a, a particular industry has stabilized right? like uh, and there is some sort of equilibrium it is really difficult to move market shares right so if you look at any uh, traditional very mature industries the market share even a percentage movement here and there right like if let's say industries like cement or any of your steel and all of this right it's very difficult to actually win the market share away from your competition because typically you know you get settled in a duopoly or a oligopoly right like these are some of the economic concepts so what has happened here i think is this is a oligopolistic market where there are you know about four five players they have a uh, certain uh, sort of percentage ownership of the market and any movement that a particular player is going to do uh, everybody else is going to retaliate or ref- uh, you know come back at it so for example if you saw when reliance geo changed rates airtel was forced to react right so when the market has large players and it is uh, oligopolistic in some sense anything that you do you are going to have the same reaction i mean the competitors will either copy you or you know there will be there will be some reaction right now it is very tough to win market share unless you say that i'm going to throw money at the problem right like which is what zepto did by the way like to win the market share or to have the kind of market share they have they have raised large chunks of money over last two years right Uh, and so as uh, so as swiggy right swiggy has invested in instamart yeah. they've raised around to uh, throw money on instamart as a reaction to uh, zepto and i think everyone even knows blinkit right for blinkit, zomato's back, investment yeah. in blinkit and their acquisition uh, so all of this right yeah so i i mean i'll tell you why grocery is such a interesting market right and why there are all these wars uh, groceries is a high frequency and decently medium to high ticket sized uh, purchases that any household does so if you are look at any biz- like you know business typically you look at what is the frequency at which customer purchases from me and what is the ticket size and in that context grocery is one of those even though the margins are less on grocery delivery but it is a high frequency high ticket sized uh, purchase right and that is why this is the holy grail right like right from that 1999.com startup that went bust i think vvan or something in the us web van uh, to web van right so uh, grocery has been the holy grail of uh, e-commerce uh, so as to say i mean the electronics is cracked fashion is cracked baby is cracked 
but grocery even after 20 years is still you know people are fighting those wars and mm-hmm. it's very interesting right like why so many so much capital is chasing that market and why it is still difficult to win it over because of the thin margins so mm-hmm. any operational innovation like a 10 minute innovation actually comes at a huge cost which is your margins yeah and like uh, in if if your only differentiator is a time to deliver right like it's a as they call it like red ant kuch to bolte hai na queen something red ant whatever race to the bottom basically yeah wherein yeah. everyone's like how how low can you really go and to get there you're raising more burning more and all the all that all that jazz now by the way there are like a few few uh, you know directions uh, if you have capital let's say of course you can uh, grow the market by you know uh, investing heavily in geographic expansion and and so on that is of course like what you would use uh, you know a, a rather obvious way ki chalo let's start in more geographies of initially getting a foothold and um, starting you know uh, to increase your market share while others are playing catch up but do you see like having a wider geographic presence um you know giving it any giving the business any advantages in terms of you know economies of scale let's say in this sort of a in this sort of a business we know that i doubt so right like for example dmart largely uh, benefits from economies of scale right because again they focus on a limited number of skus uh, my guess and they buy in, and that is why they are able to offer right like uh, such heavy discounts and that is what brings in additional footfall thereby creating sort of a virtuous cycle more the customers more the demand for the products the better you can negotiate with the distributor or whatever manufacturer by the way i want the chat also to let me know right do you all think uh, that like any this this model this business model in general does it benefit from economies of scale because if that is not the case so uh, for 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 uh, the person who has not been through an mba or have has not heard this term before economies of scale essentially mean that your cost per user or, or rather because as your user base grows your fixed costs get divided over those larger set of users thereby bringing down your cost to serve per user right so the variable cost of course it doesn't change per user but your fixed cost is now divided by a large user base thereby reducing your overall cost of delivery so economies of scale is as your user base grows the fixed cost gets divided over large number of users thereby bringing down the overall cost yeah so i mean yeah to me also i'm not really i've not made up my mind right on whether this this is model benefits from this because it's quick commerce it's not just like retail where you can negotiate down the margins and that's about it right which sort of leaves us to few other options right there's specialization that is you specialize in a particular type of a market right a particular type of products or uh, whatever uh, then there's vertical integration that is you own more of the supply uh, supply chain right like perhaps right vertical integration would uh, involve like if you want to make more money it would involve private label brands like swiggy for for example starting their own brand of atta and you know what not and pushing that above any other uh, brand out there you can earn more margins because you know you are going deeper into the so, value but, chain i mean it it is not a differentiation per se from a consumer's uh, perspective right it does improve your um, uh sort of your margins because you now have private labels but i don't think it improve like in consumer's mind your perception somehow is mm-hmm. different absolutely right like so i don't really think market share uh, margins for sure but like from a average order value standpoint like if you uh, sorry if you're looking from a gmv uh, standpoint right like uh, gross marketplace value how much business is happening through you that may not really uh change and these are two different metrics right these are two different uh, metrics so to say then there is service right like actually you know like providing people i mean i mean airlines say. is a great example of this right like so jet jet airways was known because of their differentiation when it came to service right like why business travelers or corporate travelers preferred jet was they would have this nice meal the newspapers would come to you and that was a differentiated service offering right like some of the hotels for example taj 
is known for a differentiated i mean it's still rooted right like a taj versus a marriott there is a difference in uh, service so that is what service and means. service could be uh, you know like i think when i look at it like three or four odd things one is like actual like uh, the selection that you have uh, right like of products like skus so to say do i for example get like i know lactose free milk i do get that on instagram uh, it's insta mart sorry uh, i was trying to buy chappals the other day i couldn't find them on let's say uh, an insta mart which is something you would find at a kirana store right you will get paragon pile chappal at least at a kirana store couldn't find it here so i was like screw it let me order this on amazon right like of course uh, i i am probably responsible for a lot of greenhouse emissions as you can see then there is uh, you know uh, getting the delivery on time of course getting the packaging right like i ordered ice cream sandwiches from instamart i got them all melted uh, and hence i got them for free i had to put them in the fridge and like you know let them reconfigure themselves uh, whatever into an ice cream whatever mash of biscuits and and then like i've also gotten sometimes orders missing and all that jazz right like uh, pack of 3 i've only gotten two twice i have gotten the same uh, parts of my order missing so the service the customer service the support like when they ask you so, uh, like when you when you report saying ki boss i did not get this part of my order like do they really believe you or do they ask you for proof and if they do like what are you going to show them i'm empty hand right like <laughs> so how is that customer experience like i think that also uh, probably does influence so service is time. one of the i mean it's difficult to differentiate here yeah? like it requires some other level of excellence mm-hmm. operations excellence to differentiate based on service requires a great or culture as well right like mm-hmm. so very difficult there's a comment by ritik which uh, kirana store keeps chappal like trust me my parents have had a kirana store and used to keep stock is, uh, is this a goa thing because even like i haven't seen chappals in a kirana store now thinking about it thinking about it i'll tell you what the catch there is it's the size it's the size difference right like and it, i think uh, it will be a pretty tricky thing in the in the app ux to pick the size of the chappal that you yeah, that yeah. You no no i'm saying right? chappal at a kirana store mm-hmm. might be a very goa thing because i haven't seen that anywhere else i mean like i pretty much have it imprinted in my imprinted in my memory i think the reason they don't stock it is because of the sizes but uh, that is for uh, another another day right so uh, quickly raj i i wanted to roll back right like tech and ops uh, bb daily has a great example because now they have these uh, kiosks right like so for milk and some of the items they now have vending machines so that is an example of tech and ops related differentiation and this differentiation the idea itself comes from porter's generic strategies i think we refer to that so you can either have a cost for cost uh, you know uh, focus where you are trying to reduce cost or you niche down and focus on a vertical and differentiation is the third of the mm-hmm. porter's generic strategies yeah god so chat like before we you know call it a, a day would want uh, y'all to let us know what do you think if you had to pick right between these two uh, not all of them have to make sense by the way between these options what are you going to uh, pick right and like i'm going to just let all the uh, option i mean comments come up on screen we're going to end this stream with a very interesting uh, with a very interesting how do i put it like uh, you know graphic graphic <laughs> representation of how um, india sort of like shops when it comes to quick commerce right like and all thanks to the lovely uh, the lovely folks at of course danzo who do a pretty kick ass job with their you know everything everything brand uh, we are gonna we are gonna uh, check that out let me load this up on my screen uh one second um there seems to be some issue uh do you want to pull this up yeah sure just give me a second okay can you see my screen
Raj? Yeah. Okay, so this is the well done Dunzo 2022 report on delivery trends in India by Dunzo. Yeah. First, Gurgaon and Mumbai had more people calling it okra than lady's finger. I would search for bindi, but <laughs> Jaipur ordered the least number of onions. Okay, kind of expected top grocery orders: Bangalore onion, Pune milk. Chennai potato, Delhi soft drinks. <laughs> okay. Mix, mixer, 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 bhai log. Yeah, Hyderabad milk. Okay, interesting. And open book. Pune ordered two x more Maggi than Mumbai. Now that's that's interesting given the sizes of the city. Yeah, so, I think I'd be interested to know whether this two x number is on like per capita basis or I mean per order basis or like absolutes, but. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Not mentioned there. Delhi, Chennai, Jaipur ordered more coffee than tea. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Bangalore chicken biryani, Pune misal pav, expected. Gurugram alu tikki burger. Okay. Mumbai dal khichdi, Jaipur samosa, Chennai idli. Okay. Some obvious if, ones if, there. If if they had Gujarat, they'd probably be talking about ice cream dosa or something like that. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Take it easy, pharmacy. Over. 3x condoms ordered during the day compared to night okay I interesting like work from home work from <laughs> home chal raha like i think 2020 yeah people preparing maybe i don't know work so, from home dude chennai ordered lot of sanitary pads jaipur pregnancy tests okay interesting uh and bangalore pune gurgaon delhi mumbai ordered i pills <laughs> yeah, dekho like this this is the i don't know the less we say the better yeah and uh, yeah gurgaon was sort of cat food dog food hyderabad ordered cat food gurgaon ordered dog food and pick jaggery over sugar i don't know what that means like did they order more jaggery okay delhi ordered quinoa mumbai ordered broccoli okay pune brown bread oh, these are some <laughs> pune is to pune is to catch up <laughs> clearly with the metropolitan trends yeah Let the good times roll. Bangalore ordered twenty-two times more rolling paper than Chennai. I don't know <laughs> what to make of chat, that statistic. Yeah, but, I mean, like uh, anyone in the chat in Bangalore, like please let us know what we should think of y- uh, y'all. Uh, but like uh, that is it. That is it from our end today. Um, I hope this was an interesting uh, discussion for y'all to tune into. um of course no definitive answers right like we are not here to answer questions more to provoke you all to think deeper around these questions because trust me the man or the woman in the arena knows that it is uh, much much more difficult to execute on this bahut fatti hai right when you are on the ground as compared to doing like legit armchair commentary on youtube like we folks are uh, doing right so hats off Uh, so, to... so all our friends at Zepto, Swiggy, uh, Danzo, and we do have friends at most of these places. Uh, hats off to you for you know making this work, and hats off to all the product managers who are <laughs> optimizing all these metrics. Yeah, so thank you, folks, and good night. Have a great yeah, night. Yeah, just like I one more you. time, I request people at Swiggy, please, please like, keep continue delivering. uh to me right do not like uh fix that bug i'll have to shift to bangalore if if that if that happens uh please right like take care take care folks see you all uh, have a, a good like diwali run up to diwali uh, and uh, yeah we shall be we shall be back with another day another interesting uh, sesh